I've been asked to talk to you about the risk stratification of thyroid nodules. The American Thyroid Association uh, developed a new treatment set of treatment guidelines for the evaluation and management of thyroid nodules. As part of that uh, treatment guideline, the stratification of nodules was established. This set of guidelines is different from previous iterations in that they are utilizing more of a pattern-based approach to thyroid nodules. The nodules are stratified based into one of five categories, uh, including um, benign simple cysts. In this first category of nodules, these nodules have a simple cyst appearance, and although rare, they have a very low risk of malignancy. These nodules do not require aspiration uh, because of their low risk of malignancy, regardless of their size. They may be aspirated for therapeutic purposes, however, if the patient has compressive symptoms. The next category of nodules are also cystic, but they have some solid component. These two have a very low risk of malignancy of less than 3%, and these nodules may be aspirated when larger than 2 centimeters. These are typically spongiform nodules that when looked at in cross-section, they appear to be consistent with what we would see in a sponge or a honeycomb pattern. The next category of nodules are low-risk nodules, which have a 5 to 10% risk of malignancy. These nodules may be aspirated when they're larger than one and a half centimeters. These are composed of nodules that are solid, but are iso or hyperechoic compared to the surrounding thyroid tissue, meaning they are brighter than or the same echogenicity as the surrounding thyroid tissue. Only 10 to 15% of thyroid cancers are follow this pattern, and so these nodules do not require aspiration until they're one and a half centimeters. The next category of nodules are the intermediate risk nodules. These carry a 10 to 20% risk of malignancy. This category of nodules has the highest sensitivity for malignancy at 60 to 80%, but most nodules in this category are benign. These nodules are solid and hypoechoic with well-defined borders. These lesions do not have any other suspicious sonographic features. The final category of nodules are nodules that are uh, highly suspicious. Both these and the intermediate suspicion nodules should be aspirated when larger than one centimeter. The difference between the two groups, however, is that the highly suspicious lesions are hypoechoic um, and have one or more suspicious features, including extrathyroidal extension, microcalcifications, height greater than width, or a disrupted rim calcification. The identification of one of these types of nodules is associated with a very high risk of malignancy, and as such, these nodules should be aspirated when smaller than the nodules I described before. So nodules, although very commonly seen in our population, may be stratified so that we can further divert our resources to those nodules that have a higher risk of malignancy. The pattern recognition system established by the American Thyroid Association allows us to stratify those nodules with higher risk features to FNA at smaller size, and those nodules that have less aggressive features may be aspirated once they reach a larger size threshold.